Alright guys, so I'm here today to show you uh, how to install the maps that we download off of my videos. So your first step you're going to do here, you just want to go to the video of my map that you want to download. This will be for Java. So you come to my video here, this is Not Sure and Toten, as you can see here. And this will be for Java Edition. So when you want to download one of these maps, it's pretty simple. So come down here, in my description you'll find the link. Click on that link, and that'll take you to this file. This file will say it can't be opened, but you can just download the file. And then wait for that to download. Okay guys, so once your file is done downloading, it'll be looking like this. You can click on that, and I'm using WinRAR here. It's the free edition. And then, actually we don't need to open this right now. We can close that all now, we're done with it. Go into your files here, uh, downloads, and you'll see it there. I just like to drag it out to my desktop so it's easy to work with. Alrighty, so now that you have it out here, you can click here. And I use a free program called WinRAR to open my uh, zip files. And then we're going to extract the files. And desktop, that's fine. And then just click OK. And now you'll see this file just showed up. So this is the one you're going to use, the folder. So with this folder you got through WinRAR, uh, okay, so you take your folder now, go back into your computer, and then you're going to locate your .minecraft folder. If you want to know how to find that normally, you go down in here onto your PC, and then you're going to search your whole PC. You're going to go .minecraft. And then you're going to search that, and it will run through your whole PC, and it will find the .minecraft folder. And then once you find that, you should probably pin it to your quick access if you want to keep downloading maps. But I already have mine pinned here, so you can go straight in into your saves. And you'll see all of your titles for maps you have saved so far. And I already have a Notcher and Toten in here, but I can grab this, drag it in there, and it'll just get replaced by that one. That's already there. So if it wasn't in there, it would pop right back up. And now you'd be seeing another map in your save file. You can close that. You can jump straight in, right into Minecraft. All right, jump like that. All right, so once we're loaded into Minecraft here, click into single player, and then you should see, yeah, there's the map right there. This is the one I had before, but it should pop up looking exactly like this. Click on it, and you'll be ready to play the game. So hopefully that was pretty straightforward. Um, let me know if you guys are confused about anything, and I can do more videos explaining how to make my maps work.